A warm welcome and good morning to everyone present here. We get back to our work with respect to the International Conference on Demographics, Dividend or Disaster on Day 2. We begin with a plenary session. And before we do that, let me give you a, a wonderful quote. You should always focus your best energies and abilities on staring and completing those key tasks that your unique talents and abilities enable you to do well and that make a magnificent contribution. You cannot do everything, but you can do those few things in which you excel, the few things that can really make a difference, Brian Tracy. So on that beautiful note, I'll request Matthew, sir, to give us the brief of the previous day. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming back after yesterday's session. I believe earlier in the morning, some of you were presenting your papers. Just to fill in what happened yesterday, you got a good introduction to demographics, dividend and disaster. What does demographics mean? What we mean by dividend and how it could well turn into a disaster. The speakers that we had, very eminent speakers, one of them from the IMF, and uh, provided you with a lot of statistics to make their point. And I think in their own address, they had said that since they were, since they were addressing an audience of researchers who were presenting papers, that would be most useful. Uh, I trust that uh, that tone may continue with this session as well. Uh, with the very eminent speakers that we have over here. Yesterday was about setting the platform for the theme demographics, dividend and disaster, and providing with all those inputs. Today's session, plenary session two, is on the sectoral challenges and opportunities for reaping the demographic dividend. What we are saying is on the ground today, what really is happening. It is my proud privilege and, and pleasure to introduce three eminent speakers who are here on the dais. I will begin with Mr. Rajendran, who will be speaking on demographics and skilling for industry. Mr. Rajendran is CMO Acer. He has been instrumental in building Acer's consumer business in India over the last 16 years. He is in charge of the entire spectrum of marketing activities and marketing communication. He joined Acer as General Manager Marketing in November 1999. He was later empowered with leadership of the India Sales and Marketing function of Acer, of Acer for the erstwhile Consumer Products Division, which successfully built the Acer retail operations in the country from the year 2003, apart from establishing the volume product group value desktops. I'm going to request Mr. Rajendran because of the background that I'm reading out to you and the topic being skilling for industry to also touch upon his personal experiences in setting up such a retail operation, the opportunities that it creates in the retail space, but on the ground, what kind of skilling that needs to be done to make the operations a successful one. After Acer India was established in he, he started addressing the neighboring countries of Bangladesh and Bhutan in 2006, under, uh, in 2006. Exposed to these countries have scaled up consistently, making Acer among the top three brands in each of these markets. As consumers, we also, when we are looking at laptops, we, Acer is one of the choices that comes to our mind and I can see a lot of heads nodding. So that's wonderful for you, sir, in terms of your market over here. So I've also requested uh, Mr. Rajendran if he can also throw some light on the neighboring countries of Bhutan and Bangladesh. Is it very different from the pros from the when he's talking about the prospects of employment, a prospect of skilling, uh, given that we are aligned markets uh, but yet different? He started his career with Tata Sons at Tata Economic Consultancy Services in 1984. In 1990, he joined TVS Electronics as a business manager and moved to the Sterling Group in 1995. In 1996, he joined Reddington India as business manager, where he looked after brands like HP, Samsung, Canon, before joining Acer in 1999. As an aside, when I was talking to someone, and I don't know whether it is true or not, 
He was in Reddington. They're based in Chennai. Wow, they have power to move the government to do things. I really don't know how these things work, but that was an aside that was mentioned to be by someone on Reddington. He has a Bachelor of Technology Mechanical degree from IIT, Chennai, and a PGD in Marketing and Finance from IIM, Kolkata. He's a sports enthusiast and likes watching tennis and cricket in his spare time. He's also fond of playing chess, and that's where all the strategy comes through and table tennis, all the dexterity to make sure sales folds are performing. He reads science fiction, so I'm sure he will provide us with a great deal of imagination and the future. Humor, so that's something that you can look forward to uh, from his presentation, and literature by contemporary writers. Um, so that is uh, Mr. Rajendran. What I will do, I will run through the profile of each of our eminent speakers over here then invite one, each one of them to come and give us their address. And after all three are done with their address, then we'll open it up for a Q&A. So my request to you is as they're addressing you, if you have a question, please note it down in your pad. And when I open it up for Q&A, please say what the question is, please be brief. Please do not give an explanation for the question that you're asking. Be very specific as to what is your question, who is it for, and I'll have the eminent speakers respond to it. So we are trying to enable a longer Q&A so that your questions can well be answered. I will, sir, I will move on to the next speaker, so Mr. Rajendran, uh, the gentleman sitting in, in between. The next speaker will be Dr. Shast Sandeep Shastri, Pro Vice Chancellor, Jain University. You already know about him because he was introduced yesterday, but for the benefit of those who were not here yesterday, uh, let me again, uh, again read out his profile. Dr. Sandeep Shastri is a political scientist. And what is a political scientist? A political scientist, one of the activities that a political scientist is to do is to predict elections. How many of you got the Bihar election result right? Can I have a show of hand? You know who won finally? Who won? Nitish Kumar? Okay. So how many of you got the Bihar elections right? One, two, you actually predicted that Nitish Kumar will win? Okay. <laughs> Dr. Sandeep Shastri was one of the people who predicted the elections right. So that's what a political scientist does. So he is the Pro Vice Chancellor of the Jain University and Director of its Center for Research in Social Sciences and Education. He is also the National Coordinator of the Loknithi Network. His research is largely in the field of election studies, federalism, innovation in teaching and survey-based research. He has to his credit 10 books, more than 40 articles in edited books and over 60 articles in refereed research journals besides more than 200 articles in op-ed pages of newspaper. I'm sure now those who are, who are not familiar with Dr. Sandeep Shastri, when you see his name, you know, okay, that's the gentleman. He's associated with several prestigious international research bodies in the field of social sciences and education. He has been an international consultant associated with the Forum of Federation for his Federal Democracy Capacity Building Program in the Sudan, South Sudan, and Myanmar. He is on the executive committee of two important research committees of the International Political Science Association connected to the study of electoral systems and governance. Dr. Shastri played a key role in drafting the Karnataka Youth Policy. We have another gentleman here, Dr. Kulkarni, uh, uh, who is the former IT secretary for Karnataka, by serving as a chairman of the drafting committee of the policy. Dr. Shastri has lectured extensively across the world and spoken at universities in more than 30 countries in all the six inhabited continents. Welcome, Dr. Shastri. And the th third eminent speaker that we have on the stage is uh, Mr. Vivek Kulkarni. Vivek Kulkarni is a former IT Secretary, Karnataka Government, Founder and Chairman, Brickwork India. I will just run through the profiles and then we will felicitate the speakers. Mr. Kulkarni is the founder and managing director of Brickwork Ratings, SEBI, RBI, and NIC registered credit trading agency. 
He is the chairman of Brickwork India, a knowledge process outsourcing company in Bangalore. When I met Mr. Kulkarni just now, I did ask him why did he think of the name Brickwork and he said the name Brickwork exists because what they do is foundational research, building blocks to, for the companies to build their business over here. And as I read along, you will also see that he's invited companies to come here other than creating the enabling environment in which these companies can uh, uh, succeed. He's a visiting faculty for finance at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. Mr. Kulkarni has over 30 years of experience in business and government. As the Information Technology and Biotechnology Secretary, Government of Karnataka, he was instrumental in building world-class IT and biotech institutes and events in Karnataka. I personally remember as I was sharing the IT.com, that was my first exposure to an IT exhibition of the scale that used to be done in Palace Ground and servers involved with that. During his tenure as IT Secretary, every week Bangalore has seen one new 100% foreign equity firm setting up their office. I think just for that, he needs a round of applause because some of you may be looking for jobs in those companies. He has been widely quoted in several bestsellers as well as newspapers like New York Times, London Times, several Euro European newspapers, Fox TV and large number of Indian media. Prior to this, he was a Finance Secretary Resources of Karnataka. He was Division Chief Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI, a regulator of capital markets and Head of Advisory Services in Crystal, a rating agency now taken over by SNP, Standard & Poor, I guess. Mr. Kulkarni was a director as well as chairman of the Technology Committee on the board of the Bombay Stock Exchange, the oldest exchange in India. Mr. Kulkarni is a gold medalist in Bachelor of Engineering from Karnataka University and also an MBA in Finance and Information Systems from the Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania. Welcome, Ms. Ms. Kulkarni. May I now request uh, Dr. Vatsu if guests can be welcomed with a bouquet. Mr. Rajendra. Mr. Gulkarni, Mr. Sandeep Shastri. Now without much ado, now that you've known the quality and eminence of the speakers on the dais, I'm going to invite uh, Mr. Rajendran to come and address you. And again, a reminder, as this address continues, please note down the questions that you may have. And at the end of all three sessions, we will ask specific short questions to the speaker that you want to ask, and hopefully you will also get short answers. 